Many people imagine batteries as small containers filled with ready-made energy. In reality, they don't hold energy in a passive state. They produce it the moment you use them. Inside every battery is a miniature chemical power plant. Here's how it works. Two different materials, the anode and the cathode, compete for electrons. One wants to release them, the other wants to capture them. When you connect the battery to a device, a pathway opens. Electrons rush from the anode to the cathode, and in that flow is electric current. Ions move inside the battery to maintain balance. This coordinated movement on both sides is what allows the current to keep flowing. Why does a battery run out? Because the internal materials transform. The chemical reaction continues until the anode and cathode can no longer exchange electrons. When that balance is exhausted, the battery is dead. The surprising part, lithium ion batteries in phones and electric cars don't burn energy. They store it by shuttling lithium atoms back and forth between the anode and the cathode, like tiny molecular messengers. It is a reversible process, and that's why they can be recharged. The first battery ever built, created by Alessandro Volta in 1800, was made of discs of zinc, copper, and cardboard soaked in salt water. Extremely simple, yet revolutionary. It opened the path to everything we now call electronics. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow other interesting videos. Thank you.